bunnies. Yeah. What is up with you guys? We're doing well. Thanks for asking. This <laughs> is the Sneaks and Stats podcast, episode 38. I don't know anyone that's worn 38 in the NBA. Me neither. Certainly somebody has. We'll find out. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. Uh, thank you for checking this video out. Or thank you for listening. If you guys are listening to us on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, Amazon Podcast, we're pretty much everywhere. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also follow us on Instagram, X, Reds, Tickety Tax. Tickety Tax. Tickety Tax. Tickety Tax. Yes. And that's it. I am Julian. And I am EJ. EJ. Thank you for joining us, everybody out there. Yes. And we are doing things a little different from what we have been doing doing during the uh, the regular season. Going back, it's almost kind of like an old school episode, but yeah. with a little twist, a good twist, I think. We, we're pretty excited to do this because of the, what we're talking about and the format of how we're doing it, so it should be exciting. should be pretty fun. Mm -hmm. uh, but without further ado, we are doing our first top five list, our first list, really. So, yes. Uh, stay tuned if you want to know what they are. It could be anything. It could mm -hmm. be top five sandwiches. Hot dog's not a sandwich. I'm just going to make that. That's a statement fact. Uh, what are we doing this week? What it, what happened yesterday from when this episode will have aired? Anything special? Yesterday was the last day of the first half, technically, of the season. Pretty much. We're, yes. we're well over halfway, but mm -hmm. the NBA All-Star Game. Yes. Is this Certainly a marker as far as like we're we're deep into the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So about thirty games left. Mm -hmm. Exciting run, upcoming in the next few weeks for a lot of teams, yes. especially in the West, mm -hmm. and especially Philly and Milwaukee. I would say in the East. But yeah, and the, the West is a straight up bloodbath, as it has been for a really <clears throat> long time. What makes it more interesting too is a lot of the teams at the bottom are starting to play a lot better. Like the Warriors and the Lakers are both playing. Like, the Warriors have won five in a row, the Lakers have won four in a row, <clears throat> and they are slowly catching up to the Mavericks and the seventh, sixth, and fifth seeds, which are all really close. So, it's going to be an interesting last 30 games or so. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be brutal. Yeah. Someone, someone really good is maybe not, well, maybe not really good, because right now the top 10 is, in the West, is more or less coming into place yes uh the jazz are starting to slip a little bit so they're the ones that are gonna probably gonna be the first out yeah yeah so but that that playing tournament someone i heard on a on one of the podcasts someone floated the idea that potentially the west playoff uh the they're the the playing tournament could be dallas phoenix golden state lakers yeah that is for powerhouse yes <laughs> crazy lots of star power uh, at least i do have a 38 here for you. I have, <clears throat> believe it or not, there have only been 11 players in the history of the NBA to wear number 38. And two of them happen to be active players. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You'll never, not in a million years. I'm very <laughs> sorry. One really? of them played for the Lakers. Don't know who that he is. Last year, played for the Lakers. Castleton. Um, no. Nope. Okay. Great no, show, mind. Castle. <laughs> um, okay, go. Who? I, I really have no idea. Chondi Brown Jr., who played for the Lakers during the 2021-2022 season. I remember when they drafted him. Don't remember him. I remember that when they drafted, but I don't. he didn't play. For and uh, Saban Lee, uh, who currently plays... Can you say it in again? Saban Lee. Oh, Saban Lee is on the Pistons, isn't he? He was. He's on yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the Suns now. He's been oh, on okay. the Suns for the last few years. So, uh, Those are two 38s. The big one, the big one I recognized was uh, Mikey Moore. Uh, Nick's... Knicks player. Yes, he wore it on the Hawks during the 2003 he, he season. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, everyone else, I don't really, I don't really recognize. So. Darko Milicic. You know? No. 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 Uh, anyways, uh, top five. Yes. Top five what? My top friend. five All Star shoes worn in the game. Very exciting to talk about. Julian brought this up, and um, minus one. One was not worn in the game. That's true. We'll get there. Don't worry. You'll see which one. Uh, but really fun to talk about because uh, shoes in the All-Star game, they're 
the jerseys have been a huge part of the NBA All Star mm -hmm. game. Uh, so like a lot of these releases come with uh, cool promotions and marketing ideas and and commercials and stuff like that. So um, I thought of we thought of a few that a few of our favorites. I think. And you know, I think probably too. Um, the reason we're even able to do a list of top five All Star shoes is because of Mike. Mm -hmm. um, as we talked about in our our first five episodes, pretty much the any classic Jordan debuted during the All Star game. Yeah. Back in the eighties and nineties. Yep. So he kind of set the tone for like, you should have cool shoes during the All Star game because mm -hmm. uh, what else are you gonna do? You and know? it's cool too. Most he eyes on the shoes at that point. So exactly. Yeah. And it's cool too because he kept it up even towards the end of his career with like um, wearing like the Columbia 11s, which aren't necessarily <clears throat> like an all star theme, but they were debuted at the all star game, yeah. like you said. Yeah. So, um, you know, that was a cool tradition that happened with that. And um, yeah, I'm just, ex I'm really excited. One of them, one of them I used to own. Ooh. And I'm very sad because I had to sell them. But again, we'll talk about that. And one of them, you could potentially own. Oh yes, you could, actually as of as of right now. As of uh, well, they sold out. There's, yeah. But some some of you out there, Stock may, X. <laughs> maybe yeah, maybe you hit. We don't know. That's right. You, you don't know until you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's get into it. Yeah. Uh, number number five. We'll we'll go uh, bottom to top here. Um, yeah, I like that. This is uh, we'll call it sneaks and stats top five. Obviously, my sneakerhead boy picked these for us, so thank you, EJ. Um, Please, please give us your in, insight. I hated what you all think. of them. I was like, "These are this is it, really?" We're okay. <laughs> uh, but let's get into it. Number five, uh, probably my number five too. Okay. The Steph Curry Under Armour Curry Flow <clears throat> Nine. Yes. So this is a fairly recent release. It is. Um, very interesting. Look at all the stitching. There is so the much happening <laughs> in the front. But very good flow to the shoe. It looks like it definitely wraps around your foot pretty well. Um, the colorway uh, definitely is awesome for the All-Star game because it usually comes with like bright colors and stuff like that. Um, yeah, a theme. I, I guess I never really put two and two together until you started sending me shoes, but definitely shoes that pop for sure. Yes, and for Steph Curry, a lot of his colorways for the All-Star game have kind of went towards what the jersey was or like kind of more of like a calm so this is something a little different for him to come out with a little more brighter shoe but it, it's still it's a pretty shoe his model has always been pretty nice so. it's it's interesting i'm noticing now uh emma it's uh i think rosita oh, rosita from, Sorry, emma. from uh, sesame street which yes. kind of makes sense as to why the cool tab on the tongue is like kind of furry yeah, so that's yeah. actually kind of cool mm -hmm. cool collab a little like ses sesame a little sesame, sesame street, street hint there mm -hmm. yeah that's pretty cool yeah i like that and then his um his his signature logo. I, I always liked his logo. I don't know how you feel about that. I thought he had a different one. I thought he had one that was like, it was an S and a C and also... Maybe like in the earlier? The maybe. Earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> um, it just looks like a six, kind of. Mm -hmm. Or an eight. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. It, look, it looks in a, like an unclosed eight. Yeah. yeah. For sure. But um, yeah, he wore this and I think... This is like during like the what the the blue jersey or the, I, the gray jersey. I got a pick. The yeah. gray jerseys, yeah. Um, right. Dude, they look good on foot. Yeah, they look really good on foot. Mm -hmm. um, this was the 2022 All Star Game. Yes. Uh, so just not too long ago, 75th anniversary year. So pretty that's cool. They, that's when the, they announced the the 75th anniversary players, right? The 75. team. Yeah, they did, they did all the announcements and everything. Yes. Uh, and this is kind of a cool one for Steph who uh, did take home MVP honors. This was in Cleveland that year. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I think we've talked about it before, uh, how we're happy that they're going back to East versus West. Yeah. Um, but this was still during the draft era. Mm -hmm. So uh, this was Team LeBron, which Steph was a part of, which, of course, not fair, mm -hmm. uh, against Team Durant, um, who KD did not play in this game. But he was the captain. Yeah. Uh, Steph just had the, the All Star game has been getting almost ridiculous in the last few years. Where just not that I want the players to like be crazy def defenders, but it's been like I'm not even gonna try and guard you anymore. They're just jacking up threes. Yes, which is what this guy did, which makes sense. But man, fifty points, 
five rebounds, oh two assists, God. a steal, two blocks, five turnovers, and one foul. 17 of 30 from the field. Oh, my God. 16 of 27 from three. 16, 16 three-pointers. Three. <laughs> he only took, he only made one other shot that was not a three. Just one? Just one. Two oh, so he was just jacking them up. Yeah. yeah, he was just, he was pulling up. And I mean, obviously he was, he was hot. Yeah. Because it worked. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, excuse me? Is this, is this legal? I also understand that that's the direction that the game has kind of gone to now. But in an all-star game, it would be nice if I, uh, you saw the players, like Steph, if Steph was shooting threes, I would like to see that because that's his game. But I'd like to see, you know, Giannis driving down the lane and yeah, jamming it. I don't want to see him shooting threes. You know, I want to see all these other all-stars showcase what they're good at. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I want to see you play the game. I don't want to see yeah. a shooting contest. Exactly. That's why um, they have the three-point contest. I honestly, so, um, as I mentioned, LeBron won, Team LeBron won 163 to 160. Um, is this still during the um, the, po- the the rules for each quarter and all that? Um, I think you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, this was the Elon the e- Elam. I think it's e- Elam ending where it's uh, um, you have to hit a certain mark, mm-hmm. uh, which is cool. I mean, it makes it exciting. I honestly don't know how. I don't know if there if it's possible to have a blowout in the Elam ending, but the game was close the whole time, and I don't really know how besides Joel Embiid being really good. But this is Team LeBron. Starting five here. Steph Curry, DeMar DeRozan, LeBron, Giannis, Jokic. Oh, my God. And then off the bench, uh, Luka Doncic. <laughs> and they only won by three. Team Durant was obviously no KD, but it was Embiid, Tatum, Trey Young, Morant. Uh, Andrew Wiggins was a starter that year. D-Book off the bench. Cat uh, off the bench. So uh, you think just straight off the paper... LeBron's team should should have mopped smoked them. them. Yes. yes, and they did not. So, well, cool. good competition. Yeah, good yeah. to watch for um, sure. Yeah, we'll see. I'm I'm hoping that maybe there's a little bit of renewed competition having it be yep. East versus West. Yeah, uh, but we'll see. Funny you brought up uh, that this is or that they were on the same that Curry and LeBron were on the same All Star team uh, with that rumor coming out couple days ago of uh, the Warriors checking in with the Lakers on if LeBron was available for trade, which I think probably would have never happened. Yeah, there was a a weird amount of LeBron trade rumors. Yeah. Like that maybe he wanted to get traded. Mm -hmm. I just don't see that. No, not at ever, all. Ever happening. <clears throat> Too in, much of a change. Not during a season. I don't think LeBron no. will ever request or ever be traded in the middle of a season. If and, he wants to leave, he's going to do it quietly during the offseason. Right, and, and they weren't necessarily plummeting in the standings. They're starting to play a little better. So there, there wasn't really any reason for him to want to leave, right? So, yes. Yeah, pretty weird. Um, what... I was going to say, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is all I got for uh, Steph, though. These two photos, but yeah, they they do look good on foot. Um, yeah, I, kind of a bigger shoe. Not I feel my like. yeah, not my not my favorite of Steph's models. Yeah, uh, I do like his more sharper looking models. Yes, yeah. Uh, this is more of like the round. Uh, getting into the running shoe. Getting era, to the running shoe described. type of look, and uh, you can see the. The uh, the sole kind of wraps around the front and the back and the sides of the shoe, kind yeah. of like covering more more surface area of the shoe. Um, but it w- which is cool. I just not my type of shape, but a pr- still a pretty shoe and uh, something worth uh, looking at for sure. Um, also, and also, I know if you guys are watching this, we're gonna miss a lot of really good all star shoes that I didn't name. These are just some of the the top five that I felt were some of my favorites. Um, so don't kill us. We will get to all of them eventually. Well, we're going to talk about all the good stuff eventually. Um, number four, though, moving it right along. Getting here. crazier. Um, yeah, all, all-time classic pair, mm-hmm. I would say. Uh, the KD4. Galaxy. Galaxy. Yes. Uh, recently re-released. Uh, they also, I saw they announced today that Aunt Pearl is going to be re-released mm-hmm. uh, in the, the four. The four, uh-huh. So they're really going, they're going full force on the four. That's yeah. for sure. Uh, I love this model of KD's. Classic. The four. Yeah. His, his older models were some of my favorites. 
Um, to me, obviously, the the strap is the the obvious um, feature of yeah, the shoe the, that the goes highlight. across. Yeah. Um, and then the tongue and the this just the design of it. The bottom reminds me of a Kobe Five, which has some of the best technology that I feel like. Um, part of it was part of a series that that they released during the All Star Game. That's called the, kind of like the Galaxy series. There's um there's a I believe there's a Kobe there's a Kobe Seven. There's a there's a LeBron that was released in all part of a marketing. Really, I didn't I didn't I don't really remember that. Yeah, part of a marketing campaign that kind of just talked about like the the universe and the galaxy and kind of that's the theme of it, which huh. is pretty cool. That is cool. Um, these were re- or debuted or they Katie wore them during the 2012 All Star mm-hmm. Game, mm-hmm. Um, which just you know puts it into perspective how long he's been doing it. Yeah, man, pretty crazy. Um, he was also, I, I just read a rumor that Daryl Morey, I guess, ca- made a call about trying to get KD to Philly during the trade deadline. So yeah, hey, folks Philly, were swinging big this year. All, all, of, <clears throat> all of the guys on the Clippers. Yeah. All the, you know, they were, t- they were, they were really going for it. Um, here is a look at them on foot in that Man, 2012 All-Star game. They're so nice, dude. How do you feel about these jerseys? I like those. Uh, these are some of my favorites, I think. It reminds me of Star Wars, kind of. The top, the font. Yeah. Yeah, bit. I totally see right what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Oh, yeah. That's kind of funny. Right? Huh. Um, this was in Orlando. Um, and the West won 152 to 149. Yes. Uh, and Mr. Kevin Durant took home MVP. So we've got back-to-back MVP shoes here. Uh from awesome. The NBA All Star Game. Well, how many points did he score? He had a pretty good game. Uh, way different though, just a different era. Um, Thirty six points, seven rebounds, three assists, three steals, uh, no blocks, two turnovers, no fouls. Fourteen for twenty five from downtown, or from not from downtown. Fourteen for twenty five from the field, and three for eight from three. Two thousand twelve uh, Durant was um, what team was that? Thunder. Still Thunder. Yeah. Yeah, um, this was also the Heatles era, um, mm-hmm. and they showed out in their home state. The, the big three was on the same team, right? They're yes. Right um, this was uh, LeBron had thirty six points, six rebounds, Sheesh. and seven assists. D Wade had a triple double, um, twenty four points, ten rebounds, and ten assists. Jeez. And then um, Bosh off the bench had uh, seven points and two rebounds. Nothing crazy, but a triple double in the. Playoffs, or I mean the All Star Game. That's pretty nice. That's a good. That's a cool stat to to have. Uh, D Wade in the All Star Game will only remind me of the time when he broke Kobe's nose. I was furious, and I was so pissed. I was. I'll never like Dwayne Wade because of that. I was pissed about that too, and uh, it birthed that meme of uh, of Dwayne Wade that when he says, uh, "I talked to Kobe apologizing," he said, "I love it. I love it." Yeah, Remember yeah, that, that yeah. one. I mean, Kobe would love it, but of at course. the same time, like you don't want your nose. It's an all star game. game. <laughs> yeah. Like we don't need. I mean, yeah, good defense is good defense. But I was like, man, they, I, if I remember correctly, that clip it looks like he's just swinging, swinging at the ball, yeah. and he caught Kobe's nose, unfortunately. But, yeah. Um, cool, cool little fact too. The other one of the other shoes that we were just talking about, part of that part of that Galaxy series, is in here. Is the the LeBron uh, shoot? I want to say nine. I think um, that is the that colorway is also. A part of different colorways for LeBron's line, and which is the uh, the Big Bang. Mm, okay. Which is also uh, relates to the the universe, obviously, and the galaxy and stuff like that. Yeah, they're 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 a cool pair. Those are dope. Definitely, it's a cool type of orange, like that bright yeah, citrus yeah. orange. Um, just so it's just a very it's part of uh, LeBron's bulky shoe era, which is kind of. To me, kind of heavy because for like a bigger guy. You know yeah, I mean? Well, he was a big dude. He's back a big guy, then, especially. He was super buff in Miami. Yeah, um, definitely has. I, I remember it was notable. He he slimmed down since then. Um, Kobe in that game, by the way, had twenty seven points on nine of seventeen from the field, so not too bad. Um, here is a close up of them on foot. Katie's got a good logo. I like Katie's. I logo. like Katie's logo too. Yeah, nice and simple. They didn't go, try too hard, you know. That midsole is nuts. The so black and cool. white? Yeah. Yeah, it's sick. It looks like space. It's like they did a perfect they job. They really did a good job. I love the colors. I love the the almost like the the silver to represent like a spaceship or something. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? It's, it's, 
it's pretty dope. It's funny because the, the the shoe that I I talked about on here before that I played ball in when I was a kid, mm-hmm. it has this kind of the same colorway. It was like silver and orange. Yeah, I, I, it must have been a fake. I cannot find <laughs> this model no. anywhere. You know, I'm not, I'm I'm like we're not gonna say it's fake because there's so many different models and names of Nikes that we just don't know or talk about. Yeah, it, it's one of those for sure. I found them on eBay, but someone's calling them Air Max, and I'm like, this is not an Air Max. It, it's got you know a what? big strap on it, and like <laughs> it might have an Air Max system in there. I mean, you know it probably saying? does, but I'm you just know? like, I don't know, like, what is this though? Uh, oh well, it's the, it's the Air Max. It's it's the Air Maximum. <laughs> uh, uh, num- you know, you know what I realized too, and that can you go back to that last picture? Yes. Do you know that they they're still using the. The weird basketball. Oh, I forgot. Remember they that? Had that weird ball for that one year. And the, none of the players liked it. Yeah, that is wow. Good eye. I was like, Ugh. did not realize that at all. <laughs> yeah. And then they went back to the Spalding, and they, uh, and where the 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 rubber goes all the way across. Yeah. Who makes yeah. the ball now? Wilson, I think. I think so. Yeah. Um, Evolution. I know. Weird. I, I always liked Spalding ball, but you know, same. Whatever the players like. Weird. Good eye. I'm more of a Wilson guy. Wilson. <laughs> oh, block. <laughs> Uh, next up, number three. It's getting crazier. It's getting crazier. Real quick, before we move on, like we mentioned, uh, these just released through sneakers yeah. last week. Um, one thirty was the retail price. Yes. Good luck finding a pair for that much now. Yes. Uh, uh, you are best to find them on like StockX Goat now. Um, I would imagine they are sold out even on the boutique shops too. So yeah. Uh, they're out there. Just got to pay a little pretty penny. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, number three, though, moving it along. It's getting crazy. Uh, this pair is really crazy, and there was a little detail I noticed yesterday. I'm like, oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, here's a little teaser, though. Uh, also during the 2022 All-Star Game, so we don't see them here, but Steph was uh, going to lace up his pair we saw earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Kobe King is here, and as you can see, he has a lot of Kobe's. <laughs> and... I was just looking at all of them right now, and I'm so jealous. I want all of them. <laughs> it's I know, and it's funny to see. We I I talked to you about this before. It's funny to see, uh, Demar, in like, blue, <laughs> right? In particular, after seeing him in Raptors, big USC guy too. Yeah. He's still. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, all his teams are red. Basically. Yeah, pretty much all his teams are red except for the, the Spurs, I guess. Yeah. Um, but this pair back here, especially, is like got a lot of blue and yellow on it. Yeah. So. Yep. Um, but this is. The guy we're talking about, and he was wearing a uh, super crazy special edition, a Kobe 5 PE. Mm-hmm. Uh, Argentina. Yes. An Ar- a Kobe 5 Argentina PE for, for Debo. Yes. And, I, you know, at first, when, I, when you first sent this to me, I was like, I guess blue and gold are like Argentinian colors. But then I saw the stripes, and I was like, so, oh, so that's sick. crazy. What Kobe a cool 5 detail. is a nice looking shoe, man. Yeah. Dude, that's, this is the... So Kobe won championship number four in this one. Mm-hmm. Um, the shape, some people will say, is the, the, the best Kobe. I don't, I don't argue with them. I mean, to me, the, the five is the best. Um, but uh, this is such a cool pair, a tribute to uh, Manu Ginobili, mm-hmm. um, which is so random that Lamar was the one to, to wear it. I don't know what the connection. Uh, I think he was on the Spurs at the time, if, if, oh, I'm, if that's I'm not right. mistaken. Dude, he might have been on the Bulls. I, so they were friends. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, because uh, Manu still has a role. Dude, um, I forgot about Demar. He, he on was the he Spurs. was on Chicago at this point. Okay, but okay. He may still, you know, maybe pick, had a had good for, relationship. Right. Um, yeah. What makes it even cooler is uh, that this is not a custom pair. This was a pair made by Nike for Demar, which is a one of one. That's PE, crazy. And I can get, almost guarantee you, he didn't give this pair up. He just ha- he has this somewhere. He's got it somewhere. Yeah, it's a very very cool. Maybe he gave it to Manu, I guess. But maybe you never maybe. know. Also, no reason to wear it because um, he's wearing he's on a red team. So yeah, no. But man, would I buy that if that came yeah, out? Yeah, what what a time to break it out too. The, cool. Pretty time. much the only time he could because I mean I guess n- normally the East colors are blue. Yeah. Um, but you, you, I don't know if we'll see Demar as an All Star again. Probably not with the Bulls being bad and. Yeah. Other He's, guards in the East being good. Do, do, do you do you think it's time for him to kind of leave Chicago and be in that role where I can go to just go to a team, a playoff team that will need a bucket or something? Yeah, like maybe I next, mean, like next it might season. Not, it might not be time because he's still really good. 
But if he if he wants to have a long career or a shot at winning a championship, he should probably start transitioning to like that Rudy Gay role where yes. you just come in off the bench and you're a bucket. That's all you do. Maybe grab some rebounds. They're pretty similar players. Yeah. Um, played together in Toronto, actually. Yeah. Um, and I think maybe in San Antonio, now that I think about it. Um, oh, shoot. That's right. Uh, how, yeah, how, they did. Yeah, that's funny. How did he, how'd he, how'd he do? Uh, yeah. He had an okay game. He was a starter, which I was like, that's weird. And I don't, I don't, I don't think he was a replacement starter. Um, I think he got voted in. Let me double check that. But he, he had an okay game. Um, same. This is 2022, like I mentioned. So uh, Team LeBron won by three, just to recap. Yeah. Um, 10 points, four rebounds, five assists, one turnover, and four of eight um, from the field. And then um, LeBron in this game had uh, 24 points, six rebounds, and eight assists. So Nice. Pretty good game. No, Not MVP level like uh, Steph had, but no. pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Um, we can do better. We can do better. We, <laughs> we got better. Uh, yeah, right? You'd think... Yeah, somebody, just, somebody else would be in that position. Yeah, it just seems weird that he got the the fan votes. Really, yeah. I mean, I guess it was his first year in Chicago, so I do maybe remember he got super popular for that. I do remember when that team was put together. They 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 were hot like the first twenty games. You remember that? And then Lonzo got injured. Yeah. and everything and uh, what's his name? Caruso got injured. Caruso too. got hurt really too. Yeah. Stuff up. Yeah, yeah, that team could have been really. Oh, good. he broke his hand, right? Yeah, or, something? Yeah. or his wrist. Could have been really good. Lonzo's uh, practicing supposedly, so He's shooting and stuff. Maybe he'll yeah. come back. I mean, I can't imagine he'll be the same player after like, th- I think three consecutive huge injuries, like yeah, each season. So. Well, you, you want to see him out on the court, you know? Yeah, so, hopefully. So that's hopefully. it'd be nice to just see him playing. So, um, but that is number three. Uh, this this one is kind of a special one. Like I didn't. There was so there was it was so hard to make up it was so hard to make this list but like I can only imagine I don't envy you <laughs> but like I felt like I needed to have that one in there you know pretty sick and it's it, such a cool pair it's cool that it's for Manu it yeah everything about it is very cool yeah uh, here's a close up not really close up I guess but a, a look on foot for Debo yeah uh, going up against former teammate Dejounte Murray I like his shoes too yeah those what are those? are those I can't tell like Anta, to be honest. Or? It's the kind of almost looks like an Anta logo there, but like the not front. quite. Yeah, um, crazy pair. But yeah, these look cool. These go really well with uh, the Team LeBron jerseys. It matches perfect, man. It matches that blue on there, and then good contrast with the the silver. Yeah. And the white. I li- I like the All Star socks. Yeah, those are sick. Those are dope, huh? Yeah, and there's a Jumpman on it too. That's mm-hmm. a little a little bit different for them. Uh, Karan Butler apparently. Is uh, coaching for the Heat, I guess, because there's him and Spo. Oh, it's the. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, crazy to think that the Heat had the best record. Yeah, I mean, they crazy. were hot. They were they were a good team. I mean, they're still are. This team, is 22. But... Yeah. So is this the year they lost to? Uh, so they they uh... Nuggets. No. No, that was the next year. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Man, the fours look so good on feet, man. Yeah, they look crazy. You know. Um. But next up, number two, which could potentially be my number one, because this pair is, it goes oh, extremely baby. hard. Extremely, extremely hard. Hard in the paint. Hard inside of that paint. Uh, number two, the LeBron 10. Yes. Extraterrestrial. Yes. All star. Another, another uh, part of that. That galaxy yeah. kind of space series type of thing. You this know? this was the next the the year after the um, KD Galaxy Fours were released. Yes, so definitely continuing trend. Uh, good looking shoe, man. Like so well designed. I think beautiful. One of one of one of again one of LeBron's uh, bigger shoes, but a pr- really pretty and nice design. I love the sharpness and the how tall it is right there in the back of the shoe. Uh, one of the first LeBron models to sport um, a backwards check. Yeah, um, pretty different for him. So it was, which was kind of a, a huge thing because no one, no shoe ever really switched the check or the yeah, swoosh, you yeah. know what I mean? Until like uh, Travis Scott really did it, you know, so. Um, they went off on this, man. 
Like the the laces are the dope. laces. The laces are crazy. The laces are crazy. I think the What's silver the tongue. The liner. The inside liner of the shoe is like out is the outer outer space, and it's just the the cracking of the midsole and then the the bottom of the outsole. Is yes, the super. the full like yeah. the unit is. Mm-hmm. So crazy, and even this little this little uh, fixture right there is like a splatter. A nice little addition. Yeah, for sure. I I don't I don't think it would look as cool with a solid purple. It's it's no, a little bit nice. The splatter is nice. So the splatter does help it. Kind of sure. reminds me of the the eggplant Chuck like uh, Chuck posit thing that we mm-hmm. did a long oh, yeah. time ago. Yep. Similar vibes. And it's kind of got like it looks like bubbly a little bit. Yeah. 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 Uh, this was part of this was part of a, a series as well with um so with Kobe which and that that was the shoe Dude, that came those out. Dude, Kobe's are crazy. Yeah, the eight, that is crazy. That and then always uh, nuts. It looks like an explosion on his foot. Yeah, <laughs> looks like he's looks like he's like stepping on lava or something. Yeah, and then um that and a, and a, and a Durant as well. So those three were always marketed together. Yeah, that went top dog. Makes sense. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, look at Kobe's socks too. Those mm-hmm. are cool. Kind of like a red and black like tiger print I didn't or something. Realize that. Yeah, that's pretty dope. What do you think of these jerseys? I like them, but also they're the cutoff sleeve. So yeah, I thought they're okay. The design is cool. I I, I never I didn't I never like these ones that much. They're that's, like yeah, they're whatever. I feel like that's a big topic for us is the the jerseys. But I think mm-hmm. I don't know. I think they look a little plain. Yeah, I, I mean, if anything, the the font is probably the coolest thing, but I don't like what, how the, the color combos work. See, that's funny. I don't really like the font. At least really? with the style Too plain? of the jersey. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. They own, yeah, I don't know. They're, they just don't do it for me. I kind of like that they're, like, these are some of the most, like, symmetrical jerseys. Like, yeah. the East is exactly the opposite of the West. Yeah. Like, there's nothing really too different about it. But, right. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really do it for me. Well, yeah. The bronze shoe looks... Dope on foot though. It is big. You can tell it's a big shoe though. It's a big shoe. Definitely the covers up a lot of his ankle too. As yeah. You can see. Um, but again, a nice shoe on foot. Also kind of sad, dude, because every time I see the Kobe shoes after the five, I know it's Kobe's last championship. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like his it's his down years. He's starting to you know, especially after like the Dwight years and stuff like that. So like, which that was uh, that was this year. Yeah. Uh, also, is that someone wearing? The LeBron's? LeBron's, yeah, That's crazy. Funny, um, unlaced too. This was the uh, 2013 NBA All Star Game, which was in Houston. Mm-hmm. Um, the East lost uh, 138 to 143. LeBron had 19 points, three rebounds, five assists, a steal, no blocks, uh, four turnovers, and uh, no fouls on seven of 18 shooting. CP3 took home MVP honors. Really. Uh, 20 points, no rebounds, 15 assists, four steals, uh, no damn. box, three turnovers, no fouls, seven to 10 shooting. So pretty, pretty damn good game. Pretty good. Um, the East starting five was supposed to be, um, Mello, LeBron, Wade, KG, and Rondo. Oh my uh, God. But Rondo was injured. I think ah. he had a wrist thing that season. If yeah. I remember correctly. So, uh, Chris Bosch got moved up from the bench. So the big three. Plus the Celtics. Plus Melo and KG. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, the Heat and the Celtics were running the East for a yes, while. Yeah. And LeBron was Such trying. Such a crazy time. Yeah. LeBron was definitely uh, the leader of that group, though. He, Because uh, he pretty much, after that, the East ran through LeBron. It didn't matter where he played. It was like. You, you know that. You know you who's going to go get there. Th- you got to meet him eventually. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I also see Paul George there, probably on the Pacers still, right? Yeah, t- PG twenty four mm-hmm. was uh, definitely a Pacers. Yeah, and Blake Pacers is an All Star, crazy. Yeah, weird. I wonder. I, I don't know how many selections he got. I don't think as many as you would think. He was a starter though. I remember this specifically because it was like a, I'm gonna guess eight. Six. Oh, eight's a pretty good guess. Um, the the West starters were KD, Kobe, Blake. Uh, Chris Paul and Dwight who oh was on the Lakers. God. So it was like all I remember Yo. it was like all LA guys and then uh K D. Jesus. So pretty funny. Um, that's quite the starting five there. Yeah, pretty interesting. Dude. Pretty crazy. Uh and the West was also huge. Off the bench, Tim Duncan, Lamarcus Aldridge, Zach Randolph, oh my God. And David Lee. And then the only other guards were uh Russ, Tony Parker, and Harden. Crazy. <laughs> 
What is this, the Olympics? Super big. Yeah, right? <laughs> For real. Super big lineup. I um, think we got maybe one more look here. Yeah, mm -hmm. one more look on foot. What's the fly wire? Is that supposed to be like the... the... Fly wire is the, uh, the technology inside of the purple. So it's like inside of the purple. It's basically this black part right here. Okay, it kind of ties gotcha. the shoe in together. Yeah. For, for your foot. Yeah. Kind of like holds it in. Um, which you, was huge. It's hu still huge today. What do you think of these laces compared to the black and red ones? I, I mean, I like them. They're kind of cool. It adds uh, a different kind of color look to it. Yeah. It's almost like, um, you know, hiking shoes that how they have like the dotted look. The, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. It's almost like a like a. It's always two colors. Yeah, right? like a almost like a bright color and a dark color. Yeah, that's kind of what I feel like they went for there. And it's uh, a rope lace, so it's not flat. Yeah, you, you can see it's kind of circular. The um, orange, uh, like lace locks. The lace it. eyelet, the lace yeah. eyelets or whatever. Yeah, those are those are pretty tight. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Pretty good touch. Details on that man, they went they crazy went off. shoe, crazy. Um, which means we only got one left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My personal favorite of all time. Uh, the Kobe, this is the Kobe 5? Yes. Kobe 5 All-Star. Yes. Which is kind of interesting that it's, uh, it's kind of, the, it's the least purple here. Mm-hmm. All the other ones we looked at were like pink or purple. <laughs> That's true. Uh, good looking shoe though. To me, one of the best. Um, Kobe 5's, when I was collecting shoes, was the most um i've had the, the kobe 5 was the most pairs of kobe's i had uh this was my favorite pair of all time uh it's almost got like a weird wood finish this area right oh, here. oh yeah that's interesting it, it it looks like it's like a wood finish but it's obviously not um that has a fly water fly wire technology here you can see the strings mm -hmm. um one cool bit that is not that you can't see i don't know if you can see it on any of the pictures that we have there is a, a piece of leather on the top on the tongue and it has all his all-star accomplishments on there. Oh wow, that's cool. So sick. Uh, and it it just the colorway just looks evil. But, right? It looks like it does it looks, it looks mean, like a dude. villain wears these shoes. Yeah. And the laces are wax, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's interesting. The wax that's super way. different. I thought you were about to say the laces are whack. I was like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wax. Uh, did you put it on wax? I you you can't play it on a turntable. You cannot do it. You cannot do you that. You have to play it on the wax. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yes, the the Kobe Five, one of the best, I think. Which I think you mentioned at the start of the episode that you owned a pair. It was that one. You owned the, the All Star colorway. I had this colorway, Ooh. bro. It's uh, I got it for a good price too. I think I got it for one sixty. Uh, after it came out, and this was before. Uh, sneakers app. This is StockX and StockX and all the all the resellers. So I had this. This is uh, I found a guy on the forum that had these. This is how we used to do it back in the day. Yeah. And um, he, dude, he delivered them to my house. That's awesome. Like That's you cool. don't see that. You don't hear that at all no. anymore. So he delivered them to my house. We. It was he was a cool guy. He collected Kobe's too, and um, they now go for anywhere from I saw from eight hundred to twelve hundred. Holy cow! Yeah, pretty expensive. That's yeah. pretty good. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Some some cool will say you owned them. Yeah, I mean, I'm sad. I, obviously, you know, I had hard times. Had to sell a bunch of pairs, but one day uh, they will they'll be in my possession. They'll again. come back. What goes around comes around, right? Yeah, and a lot of people will say this is their favorite Kobe All Star shoe of all time. Pretty sick. Out of not too many, he didn't really have too many All Star shoes. Um, so one of the best ones, I think. Which is ironic because it is unfortunate that Kobe did not. Lace them up yes. during the, the, the season. Um, it would have been the 2010 NBA All-Star Game. This, yeah, this is when they, they won. They beat the... Yes. So um, he, he was, of course, voted an All-Star starter by the fans. Um, but he had an ankle injury uh, mm -hmm. about a week before the game, a few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and he, he had to sit out. So, If I'm not mistaken... I could rem I think I remember uh, him and Phil kind of making a decision to like he could have played, but just like you know what, we have bigger fish to fry. Yeah, just I you know show up and but don't play kind of. Thing. I kind of remember that too. Right? Um, this was also the year that he had injured his finger. Yeah, when he started wearing the the finger strap, and and he had already elected to not um, wear the or not play in playing the game or he had elected not to have surgery and just yeah. deal with the injury so he was for all, the whole year right for the whole year yeah yeah 
So he was already injured when he um, decided not to, not to play in the, the All Star game, which which makes sense. Um, he did sit out um, a few more games after or uh, after the game. Yeah, after the All Star game, I believe. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the the All Star game was uh, February fourteenth that year, and uh, Kobe didn't come back until the twenty third. So he he missed a. A little bit of time. Yeah. It, it, in total, it was only uh, six games, so nothing crazy. But yeah, just to kind of uh, put rest, it in context. Rest it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, get some rest. Get ready for uh, a long season, which obviously paid off. But if I told you that someone did wear these, who would you who would you say wore them? You know, but who would you say wore them? Philip John Tucker. Ah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, wrong. No, wrong. PJ. Yeah. <laughs> PJ Tucker. Yeah. Do, Pidge. Do you know him? Yeah. Pidge. Yeah. What's up, Pidge? Pidge. Uh, of course, the Sneaker King wore them. PJ Tucker. Uh, look, how they, look how they look with the red laces. Pretty dope with the red laces. Mm -hmm. um, and pretty good match for the Rockets uniform, I would mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. um, this was during the 2018-2019 season. Um December 1st, 2018, uh, the Rockets beat the Bulls 121 to 105. And uh, PJ had 11 points, uh, six rebounds, one assist, one steal, two fouls on four of eight shooting. Perfect PJ game. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sounds been a, been sounds a while about right. Since we talked about the Sneaker King. Mm -hmm. uh, but crazy cool pair. You can always, we can always rely on him to. Uh... Wear a pair that we're talking about if we can't you can't find someone wearing them in the game. He wore Jordan ones during the first half of this game. He wore uh, the Soulfly Jordan ones. Those are an insane. How did he do that? I, <laughs> and how are his feet not broken? Uh, yeah, maybe they are. Yeah. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, just to go back to the All Star game that Kobe missed when these would have been worn, um, Jason Kidd. Uh, was selected as his replacement. Mm -hmm. uh, I also wanted to highlight this was Chris Kamen's one and only All Star appearance. Okay, and uh, D Wade took home MVP honors. Uh, the West did lose to the East. Uh, this was that big game in Dallas that they played inside the Cowboy Stadium. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Cowboy Stadium. That's right. Yeah, um, D Wade where they're, all, had, where they're all looking up when they like, walked in, and it's like a thousand, hundred million, million people <laughs> yeah. sitting there. Yeah, uh, twenty eight points for D Wade, six rebounds, eleven assists. Five steals, um, no blocks, three turnovers, and four fouls, and 12 16 shooting. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's that. I think top top five. Yeah, I th I, th I think we did a good job, bro. Very good job. Uh, I got a close up here just to close things out. Damn, the red laces are nice. I forgot they came with red wax laces too. Dude, that colorway is. How nice is that? Look at the finishes on the on the on the shoe, man. Yeah, like right. You're right. It is like a weird wood thing. It's crazy, dude. The the shine on it is awesome. It's very cool. Um, the materials are nice too. But uh, that is number one for me, guys. I mean, I, I like I said, we there's probably ton, we could probably could have done a top hundred if we wanted yeah. to. Um, yeah. a lot of customs, a lot of teams made. A lot of the the other shoe brands are getting into the All Star shoe game as well. Um, Puma. Should Puma's in there? Uh, you know, Adidas has obviously been making them too, mm -hmm. and a lot of these other. But Reebok has has some All Star shoes as well. So, you know, shout out to all the people that and the customizers who make um, shoes for the players during the All Star game. They get their their art displayed yes. during this weekend. Yeah. You know? So, um, shout out to them. Should be fun weekend. Who do you have for shoes? Winning the dunk contest, the three point shootout. And does the East or the West win, Mr. Julian? I think Jaime Jaquez is going to win the NBA dunk contest. Ooh, you know what? I will agree with you there. He's young. He's, uh, I think, got a little bit to prove. Mm -hmm. Mac McClung is, Ooh. I think, going to be dangerous to repeat. Mm -hmm. I think he's also got something to prove because mm -hmm. he did get picked up by the Sixers after he won last year and then since then has been back in the G League. So. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you're looking to make another splash. Good explosion, exposure too. Yeah. Um, three point contest. I'm going with Dame. I think he's same. To me, he's far and away the best shooter in the competition. Obviously, anyone can get hot, but mm -hmm. uh, there's no there's no like uh, Steph or Clay or like 
Kyle Korver. Like, there's no one that's like a sharpshooter. Yes, me. yes, I agree. Uh, on that level, at least, mm-hmm. um, besides maybe Dame. Um, and then I think, I think the West will take it. Same. Yeah. I'm not trying to be, you know, I'm. West Coast, we're, West Coast, West baby. West Coast men, but uh, West Side Gun Wolfpack. <laughs> but um, I just I, I like that the way that team is stacked more than the East is. Yeah, right now. Let's so, review. You got LeBron. You got LeBron. You got Anthony Davis. Joker. Joker. Anthony Davis is on the bench though. I think right. He is on the bench. Uh-huh. Uh, Luka Doncic. Oh, wow. Steph is on the bench, too. Steph is on the bench. Wow. He is not a starter. Luka. Uh, the starters. Sh- Shy. Yeah, Shea is starting. Luka starting. KD is starting, which is kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Cool. I think he deserves it, but kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. LeBron starting, and then Jokic. And then on the bench, you got D-Book, Steph. Oh, my God. Anthony Edwards, Paul George, oh and Kawhi. God. Kat and AD. Oh, my God. That's pretty stacked. Super stacked. Uh, and then the East. You have Tyrese Halliburton, Damian Lillard, Giannis, Jason Tatum. Uh, Joel Embiid was supposed to start. Mm-hmm. Um, he is not starting because is he is injured. Uh, I don't think they've announced who's going to be starting in his place yet. Okay. Um, his replacement was... Um, Cat. No. Trey Young. Oh, Trey. Okay. Uh, but he will probably... Not. I mean, I could see him starting. Trey Young's a big guy, but... Uh, the rest of the bench is Brunson. Probably Brunson will start, if I yeah. had to guess. Um, Tyrese Maxey, Donovan Mitchell, Jalen Brown, Paulo, Bancaro, uh, Bam, and then um, Julius Randle was supposed to play. He's injured, so Scotty Barnes is replacing him. N- not that they need it in an All-Star game, but uh, Wes has all the size in that yeah, game. Yeah, all the size. Look at the starters. A dude. ton of talent, I think, too. Mm-hmm. Um but this is uh, Paulo Bancaro's first um, All Star game. Shout Tyrese Maxey's first All All Star game. Shout out Tyrese. Jalen Brunson's first All Star game, and uh, Scotty Barnes' first All Star game. No one on the West is this their first game. Okay. Uh, Shea is in his second. Anthony Edwards is in his second. So, a little more experience on the West too. Well, well deserved though, for sure. Um, who do you think is going to win between Sabrina and Steph in their little shootout they're doing? I mean, we said it last week. This this is a toss up because they're both. Nasty. Oh, you know what I disgusting mean. Disgusting shooters. If we're just talking just three point shooting, it's gonna be tough. I think. I'll, I'll throw this out there, Sabrina. The the WNBA's three point shootout contest mm-hmm. is the same format. Um, I think their line is still a little bit closer, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. But mm-hmm. she in the format of I think it's thirty total shots or somewhere around there, twenty five mm-hmm. maybe. She has the record. She has the most made in that format ever. Right. So. And it's not easy. No. So. Um, one rack is all money ball, right? I, I think they, they always kind of change it up. They have, they had, I think last year, I think one rack was maybe all money ball, but then they also had like the, I think it was starry branded and it was like uh, a yeah. four point shot or something. I don't know. <laughs> don't get, it was like way out know, there. Yeah. I don't want them to get too crazy. I like, I like the money ball alone and that's the, the only other ball. Speaking of crazy, the rising stars challenge. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's happening. I what? don't. I don't understand it. There's four teams. They all like. Oh, that's right. And the coach is like a player. Yeah, like an old player. It's or team Pau versus team Pau Gasol mm-hmm. versus um, team Jalen Jalen mm-hmm. Rose versus team um, Tamika Tamika Catchings. Yes. And then versus team Detlef Detlef Shrimp. Yes. Um, I just don't get the format. It's like there's half of it is G League players or like one one team is G League players. Uh huh. The, the others are all rookies or sophomores. I'm like, can we? Again, let's just go back to basics. Rookie sophomore game. It's getting nuts. That dude. game was super fun. Yeah. Even the international, they did like an international versus um, world or world versus uh, USA. USA right? yeah. format for the rookie sophomore game. Even that was fun. But like yeah. this four team chaos mess. It's confusing. I don't care anymore. You've lost yeah. me. I I think it's cool that the G League gets to have like a moment. Mm-hmm. I, maybe do it in like the skills contest. Yeah, or, yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe just make it NBA rookies and sophomores versus G League. But then they. G League would probably get their butts handed to them every single time. For sure. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I mean, I, I guess this is where they wanted to make that change. Every every yeah. season, every All-Star they, game. This is, is at least the second you know? year they've done this weird like, yeah. three or four teams. I think one year it was only three teams. It was like yeah. rookie, sophomore, G League. And it's like, what? Yeah. And uh, it's the first year they're, they're debuting uh, the LED court. Have you seen that? Yeah, that should be interesting. Uh, it's, 
gonna be nuts. I saw a little bit of it. I'm like, are they gonna get like? I kind of wonder if the players are gonna like trip and stuff. Like, if they're gonna get, <laughs> they're like, gonna think it's like they're... disoriented. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Because you know how sometimes like if like... if they play like a moving image on a still floor, sometimes people will like fall over. Yeah. I'm like, is that gonna? Happen? I mean, I know these guys the are very coordinated. Yeah, stuff, yeah, and like the best athletes in the world, but it just seems. Odd well, choice. again. We well, will see. You will already know, and we will find out. Yeah, we'll find. Oh yeah, that's right. By the time uh, this episode comes out, we'll be reviewing the All Star. Yes, so. we'll see you in Indiana. Just yeah. kidding. That'd be cool though. That'd be dope. One, one, one year. One day. Uh, but thanks, EJ. Good top five. Thank you for, as well. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. <laughs> but that was yeah, that was fun to do. Uh, all you guys enjoy All Star Weekend. Should be fun. Uh, festivities have already started. Yes, also, um, Friday is what? The celebrity game. Celebrity game. And then you'll have. Which is always kind of dumb, but it's fun. Is that when they do? Is that when they fun. have the rookies and sophomore stuff too? No, that. Um, I think so, because Saturday is all the other events. It's like a. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess Friday must be the rookie sophomore game. So. Along with the celebrity. And then Sunday you have the actual game. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday what's your favorite night? Friday, Saturday. It's got to be Saturday. Sunday. Yeah, Saturday mm-hmm. to me is the best. Because it's it's like the most exciting. It's it's like the middle of the weekend. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Um, and you, I, I, you like to see at the athletes kind of relaxed, right? They're not as intense. And... I, I, do, that, I think that is a big part of it. I like on Saturday night that a lot of the other stars, like that's what they do. They're they doing. come out for they each go, other. They go to the All-Star game. Yeah. Or, or I mean the dunk contest and the three-point contest and like just watch. Yeah. That's always that's some of the best clips. Like right. Like Vince Carter's dunk contest, Shaq with the camera. The camcorder and all Jason that. Jason Kidd like mm-hmm. covering his face. Like yeah, yeah. classic moments. That's what I mean. And, and you remember those. So you know what? It's, it's nice to see what moments will generate this weekend. You Paul Pierce I mean? with two phones. Two phones. So uh, The flip phone and all that yes. stuff. Yes. Um, but yeah, it should be exciting, man. But... We'll see y'all next week back on the uh, old regular schedule. Back to the old dusty trail. The Oregon Trail. We're going to we're moving <laughs> to that Oregon. Game? Yeah. I've died of dysentery. Yes. Uh also keep out, uh, we do have some more content coming out on our social media. Uh, we did visit the Kobe statue, so um, thanks for all the feedback on our last video. But uh, we got some more coming out soon. Stay tuned, as always. Yes, and we will see you next week on the flippity flop. What are it's it? Duke, Duke Blue Devils <laughs> <laughs> versus North Carolina. What? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Okay. <laughs>